In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use some online audio recording tools to be able to add audio inside of Google Slides. And so really, when it comes down to this technology requirement uh, here for the Career Switcher, really asking for sound effects, but I really think it would be a better skill to learn how to add your own voice inside of a Google Slide. So when you're a teacher, this is going to become really important for students who might have a learning disability and have a hard time reading, younger students who struggle reading, and when students, if it's their, if English is their second language. And so there's a lot of benefits to having audio, your voice inside of Google Slides. So I'm gonna show you this right now. So I'm on a website, it's online-voice-recorder.com. And it takes you to a screen like this. It's really, really simple. At the direction will say, click on the button to start recording. So I'm gonna click on the button. And right now I'm recording, um, hopefully this is gonna work with me recording a video at the same time, but it looks like it is because I have these green little waves that are showing up across the screen. But I'm gonna press stop and it's gonna process my audio file. So that's why I play it back. And right now I'm recording, um, hopefully this is gonna So right now I have pressed the play button. It's played through, I heard my voice. Say if I want to trim it, I can actually move these little blue bars on each side to trim down the audio. And then I can press save. It's going to process. It's going to ask me where I want to save it at. So I'm going to save it in a place where I'm going to remember where it's at right now. I'm going to change the name of the file. So I'm going to call this my online directions. You can name it whatever you like. This is just for me in the sake of this video. I'm going to go and press save or enter. And now I've downloaded this MP3. So that's the extension for the audio file. So now what I'm gonna do, my next step is I'm gonna go into my Google Drive account. Oops, so let's go ahead and find my Google Drive account. So here I have a folder where I'm gonna place the audio file at. So in order to upload this, I'm gonna press the new button, file upload. And then I have to remember where I put it at. So thankfully I put it on my desktop because sometimes I don't remember where I save things. And I gotta remember what I called it or look for the MP3 logo. So my online directions is here, press open. And what it will do is it'll start to upload. Uh, that it'll say upload complete. And now I have my MP3 file in Google Drive. So that these are the important steps before we go over to Google Slides. Also, if you're adding just sound effects, so say you find a sound effect that is free to use online, you're gonna follow the same steps here with Google Drive to upload that before you put it into Google Slides. So now what I'm gonna go do is I'm gonna to go to my slide presentation and anywhere on any slide, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press inserts, I'm gonna press audio, and if it will start showing you MP3 files that are in your drive. So I found my MP3 file and I'm gonna press select. This is creating audio and it gives you a button that you're gonna to use to play during your presentation. What's really great about Google Slides is that there's some options for playback. What I like to do is I like to press play, to make sure that I can hear myself, which I totally can. But if you click on format options, it's gonna give you all the different things that you can do to this button. So the one is audio playback. So if you go ahead and click the little carrot next to audio playback, it opens up this menu. What's really nice is you have a choice on when it, when it can start playing. It's either on click, which means that I have to click the button to make it play, or you can do it automatically. So, this, so whenever your slide transitions to this slide, it will automatically play the audio file. And so here you have volume uh, of this, so you can set your volume. You can hide the icon when presenting, so if you have it automatically set, this will probably be a really good way, thing to do. Uh, I'm not gonna loop this because this is directions, but say if you have some background music that you wanna loop on the slide, you can loop it. And then also you have a checkbox here that says stop on slide change. And so say on your first slide, you have a, 
you have an audio loop that's about 30 minutes long, the length of your presentation. If you uncheck this, that MP3 file will play through the duration of your slide. There's also some other features here, but these are really more aesthetics for the button. So this is just a video walkthrough about how to add audio into a Google slide.